in this tutorial we will learn how to create this drawing this drawing and this drawing let's start with first drawing if you are interested in previous tutorials link to previous tutorials playlist is given in the description so in this drawing at first we will create this baseline of 200 length and we will use a CAD ISO template because unit is in mm click here and select a CAD ISO then we will check the unit for unit type un enter we are using insertion scale as millimeter and our length type will be decimal precision will be 4 digit so we will not change anything click on ok click on line specify first point then make ortho on and give the length of 200 enter enter then zoom here then we will create these two circles of 25 and 50 radius click on circle give the center point give the radius of 25 enter then to repeat the last command press enter give the center point give the radius of 50 enter then we will create this fillet of 250 radius click on fillet and click on radius give the radius of 250 enter as we have to create two fillets therefore we will choose multiple options click on multiple then click on this circle and this circle again click on this circle and this circle press enter then we will remove unwanted objects click on trim then press enter and click on the objects to be removed then press enter then we will create this shape now this shape contains two square this is the first square and this is the second square the size of both the square is 20 we will create this square using polygon command the 20 distance is between two parallel lines therefore we will use circumscribed method of polygon and as the distance is 20 that means from center to mid of this line will be 10 that means we will have to give radius of 10 click on arrow near the rectangle and click on polygon then give number of sides as 4 enter and give the center point for the polygon then click on circumscribed about circle then specify radius of 10 enter then next is this inclined sphere when we specify radius it creates horizontal square but in this case we want inclined square to create this inclined square we will create one inclined line of 10 length at 45 degree click on line click on this end point make ortho off take your cursor away give the length of 10 then press tab for angle give the angle of 45 degree enter enter then click on polygon then give number of edges 4 is correct we will press enter then give the center point click on circumscribed about circle and click on this end point of the line then remove the unwanted objects for that click on trim enter and click on the objects to be removed enter then erase this line for erase type E enter select this object and enter then next is this ellipse of 100 by 24 size but when creating ellipse we need to give the radius therefore we will give radius of 50 and 12 and the location of ellipse is 112 from this line 
So at first we will create this vertical line. Click on line. Take your cursor to this quadrant. Don't click there. Take your cursor away. It will track it. Then click. Make ortho on. And click. Press enter. Then click on offset. Give the distance of 112. Enter. Select this line. Take your cursor on this side. And click. And press enter. Then zoom there. Click on ellipse. Give the center point. Take your cursor on this side. Give the radius of 50. Enter. Then give the radius of 12. Enter. Then next is to create this shape. Now in this shape there are two hexagons. First one is this one. And other is this one. The size of both the polygon is 60. And again the gap is given between two opposite parallel lines. Therefore again we will use circumscribe method. And we will have to give radius of 30. That is half of this. Click on polygon. Give the number of sides as 6. Enter. Then give the center point. Then click on circumscribed about circle. Then give radius of 30. Enter. Then again second polygon needs to be inclined. So for that again we need to create one line. Up to the midpoint of this line. As we know in the case of polygon if we create one line here. The angle of that line will be 30 degree. And that means remaining will be 60. And half of that 60 will be 30. That means this total angle will be 60 degree and length of the line is 30. Click on line. Click on this end point. Make ortho off. Take your cursor away. Give the length of 30. Then press tab. Give the angle of 60. Enter. And enter. Click on polygon. Then number of side 6 is correct. Press enter. Then give the center point. Now actually I have given center point on the midpoint. But midpoint is not correct. Actually I have to give center point at the end point of this line. So I will press escape. Again I will give polygon. Enter. Then center point will be end of this line. Then click on circumscribed about circle. And click on the end point of this line. Then erase this line. Press E. Enter. Then select this line. And press enter. Then trim unwanted objects. Type TR. Enter. Then again enter to select all object as a cutting edges. And then click on the objects to be removed. This shape is also ready. Press enter. Zoom minus. Then we need to apply layers. For that at first we will change the color of zero layer. For that click here. And click on this white square. And select the color for this layer. I will choose this one. For zero layer. Then I need to create center line. For that click on this layer properties, click on new layer and give the name as center, click outside, choose the color, I will choose this one, ok. Then click here on continuous, click on load, scroll it down and here is center, click on it, ok, click on center, ok. Then for 0 I want thickness of 0.3. Ok. Then close it. Then select these lines. Click here and click on center. Press escape. And we will also make this center layer current. Then I want to reduce the gap between center line. For that give LTS command. Type LTS. Press enter. 
and reduce the factor. Suppose I will give 0.25. Enter. Then to adjust the size of the lines, click on the line, click on this blue box, take your cursor away and click. Again, click on this blue box, take it away and click. Then I want to reduce the size of this center line. Click on this center line, click here, take your cursor below, zoom there and click. Ensure that line is straight. Now it is showing midpoint. I don't want midpoint. I will make ortho on so that line will be straight and I will take my cursor away so that it will not take any object snap and click. Same way for here. Click. Take it inside and click. Press escape. Then I need vertical line here. For that click on line. Take your cursor to the quadrant. Take your cursor away. Click. Take it below and click and press escape. If you want to see the thickness, click here. So it will show the thickness. So this drawing is ready. Click on this plus for new drawing. Or if this plus is not available, you can also click on this new drawing. Click on new drawing. Then select ACAD ISO and click on open. Now we know that. For ACAD ISO, unit is always mm, so there is no need to check it. Now we will create next object, this one. Now in this, at first we will create this ellipse of 100 by 160 size. Click on ellipse. Choose the center point. Take your cursor away. Make ortho on. Now horizontal radius is 80 that is half of 160 type 80 enter then vertical diameter is under that means radius will be 50 enter zoom it then create a reference lines click on line take your cursor to quadrant track it click take it below and click press enter again press enter Tick to quadrant, track it and click enter. Then we will create this portion. Now the location of this line is 45 and location of this line is 60. Click on offset, then click on through, then click on this line, take your cursor on this side, give the distance of 45, enter. Then click on this line, take your cursor on this side, give the distance of 60, enter. Then press enter. At first we will create this triangle. Now this triangle is touching to this circle of diameter 20. For this we will use polygon command and circumscribe method. Click on polygon, then give number of sides as 3, enter, then give the center point, we will choose this intersection point, click, then click on circumscribed about circle, then give the radius of 10, enter. Then next is this octagon of 50 corner to corner distance. As the distance given is corner to corner, therefore we will use inscribe method. Click on polygon. Then give number of sides as 8. Enter. Then give the center point of polygon. Then click on inscribed in circle. Then give the radius of 25. Enter. Now actually we don't want this polygon like this. We want this point on this line. What we will do? We will rotate it. Click on rotate. Select this object. Enter. Then give the base point. Make ortho off. Then take your cursor to this end point and click. So now this point is exactly on this vertical line. Then next is to create this pentagon. Now in this pentagon, edge length is given. 
therefore we will use age method for age method we will have to specify first endpoint of the age therefore we will need to locate this point now this point is at a location of 7.5u from this vertical line that is half of this 15 and 10 from this horizontal line click on offset give the distance of 7.5u enter and select this line take your cursor on this side click and click on this line take your cursor below give the gap of 10 enter then press enter zoom here click on polygon then enter number of sides 5 enter then click on age then give first point here take your cursor away make ortho on and give the length of 15 enter then erase unwanted line type e enter and choose these lines enter now this polygon is also ready then next is this shape now this shape is at a gap of 10 from every object so we will offset it click on offset give the gap of 10 enter select this ellipse click inside select this polygon click on this side select this polygon click on this side press enter then trim the unwanted object for that type tr enter then enter and remove these corner pieces same way here and here yes that's right then press enter then erase the unwanted object click on erase and select this object and this one press enter ok then there is a fillet of 5 and 3 click on fillet click on radius give the radius of 5 enter click on multiple option and select this line then select this ellipse but here it is giving error cannot fillet between these two entities to fillet here we will have to explode this polyline press escape click on explode and select these polygons press enter then again give fillet now radius of 5 is correct click on multiple select this line select this arc again same way here then again click on radius give the radius of 3 enter click on multiple then choose this choose this line and arc press enter now this shape is ready then again we will give color to zero layer okay then we have already created center layer in drawing one if you want to use this layer in this drawing then for that you will have to give dc command type dc for design center enter then click on this open drawings now here it is showing the open drawing now this is the drawing one click on layers here is the center layer just select it press first mouse button and drag it and release here and close this dialog box here is the center layer then select these lines and click on center escape then we need one more layer that is hidden for that click on layer properties click on new layer then type here hidden choose the color suppose I want this one ok then click here on continuous click on load scroll it down and here is it done ok select it done ok close this dialog box then hidden is these two polygons 
so click this polygon this polygon click here click on hidden trace escape then reduce the gap for that type LTS enter and I will give 0.25 enter then reduce the length of these lines click on it click on this blue box take it below and click ensure that ortho is on and keep your cursor in empty space and click again same here take it inside and click same way here click on line click on this blue box take it inside and click and press escape actually the gap between this hidden line is very less so i will choose different type of hidden line for that click on layer properties click on hidden load scroll it down and i want hidden with larger gap so i will choose this 2x hidden ok select this hidden x2 ok and close now here gap is more then click on new drawing then this drawing here at first we will create this horizontal line of 180 and inclined line of 170 and the angle is 120 as this angle is 120 that means angle from this x axis will be 60 click on line give first point make ortho on give the length of 180 enter zoom it make ortho off give the length of 170 press tab give the angle of 60 enter enter then here the width is 70 and this gap is 35 that means this will be also 35 click on offset give the gap of 35 enter select this line take your cursor above click again select this line take inside click take below press enter we will create lines click on line click on this end point to this end point enter enter this end point to this end point enter then there is fillet of radius 30 click on fillet click on radius give the radius of 30 enter click on multiple select this line this line this line this line enter then there is chamfer of 20 by 20 size click on arrow near the fillet click on chamfer and click on distance give the distance of 20 enter again second distance is 20 press enter select this line before that click on multiple then select this line this line and this line and this line then again click on angle uh, this second chamfer is at 30 degree and the distance is also 30 so specify chamfer length is 30 enter and angle is 30 enter then select this line as a first line so that it will create angle of 30 click on this line and this line this line and this line press enter then there is two circles of 20 diameter at a distance of 20 click on circle take your cursor to this end point then track that point and give the distance of 20 enter specify radius of 10 enter same way here press enter Take your cursor to this end point. Don't click there. Take it inside. For this you need to have your extension object snap on. Otherwise it will not work. To make that extension object snap on. You will have to click on this arrow. And click on this extension. Once it adds this tick. Then extension object snap is on. Then track that point. 
give the distance of 20, enter, give the radius of 10, enter. Then there is this ellipse of 120 by 25 radius. Click on ellipse, give the center point, take your cursor on this side, make ortho on, give the radius of 120, enter and radius of 25, enter. Then this is a ellipse of 130 by 20. Click on ellipse, give the center point, now I need to create inclined ellipse. For that make ortho off, take your cursor on this side, now it is again tracking, so just specify the radius of 130, enter, and radius of 20, enter. Then trim the unwanted objects, for that type TR, enter, then select this both the ellipse, enter, and remove these objects, enter, and there is a fillet of 30 for this ellipse also click on fillet click on this arrow select fillet then radius of fillet is already there click on multiple select this arc and this arc again this one and this one press enter then next is to apply the layers for that type DC for design center enter and click here before the drawing tool, click on layers, select center, control hidden, then drag it and release it, press escape, then give color to zero layer, suppose I will give this one, ok, and select this line and click on center, escape and select these arcs. Click here and select hidden. Press escape. So this object is also ready. So all the objects are ready. In the next lecture, we will learn next set of commands and we will also continue to create floor plan drawing. We will create second part of floor plan and after that, we will create one more furniture for interior designers. So that's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.